Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back. I took a few week break, a um, couple of weeks break, just because I've, I've been busy with work. I've been, you know, trying to get out of this funk I've been in, insomnia, all that stuff, but I'm back. And today's video is a huge L3 video. I have the pre-order, which I just got yesterday. I have my Try Me sampler, which I was thinking about putting in a separate video, but I'm just going to do it in this one and make this a longer L3 video. Um, I have a ready to ship. Um, I have a couple of ready to ships from not yesterday's, but the one before. Um, my order wasn't combined together, so I have um, two. Actually, let me see here. I have one to I have another little sample bag but I put those in my sample area already so I'm only going to talk about two sample bags here I do have three orders but only two sample bags that's what I was going to say okay L3 as you know owned by Jennifer Westing and team um, from Oregon and I can never remember the name of the city in Oregon where Jennifer's business is but let's get started Okay, I was going to try to separate these into pre-order stuff and non-pre-order stuff. And I think I, I think I pretty much can because I remember what I got for pre-order. Okay, whoo, man down. Okay, hope everyone has, a, has had a fabulous week. It is Saturday here. Marty's out golfing, so it's just Poppy and I today. But she's not going to come in here because I have the door shut. So let's get started about wax. Okay. She did a pre-order um, in June, maybe. I think it was June. I think it was June. And um, she did a customer creation contest again. And um, she picked so many blends this past time. I think she picked 25, 30, something like that, I think. And all of us winners had um, our blends offered in the pre-order. So I had five blends chosen, I know. Five. I I don't know what I did uh, creation wise to have them picked, but I I really enjoy creating blends. I really I really enjoy naming blends. It's just it's just something that um, I makes me happy. I guess <laughs> so. The first one I'm going to talk about is not mine. This is manscaping. This is a scoop. Notes are steel sugar, blue sugar, and shave cream. And why I bought this is I had a um, little bunt from a sampler. I think it was the mint sampler. I think it was. And it was steel sugar, peppermint, and something else. And my husband is not a peppermint person. He's not a mint person, but I am. But I had it going in the kitchen downstairs, and he really liked the steel sugar peppermint combination. So when I saw steel sugar, I thought, you know, steel sugar, blue sugar, I can add some peppermint to this a little bit just to give it a little bit of that cooling sensation. But this one here, this is such a nice blend. Whoever created this, bravo. Um, you get the freshness and the clean from the shaving cream. Absolutely. And I'm getting the still sugar, which has a little bit of a masculinity to it, just a little bit to my nose. And then you have the blue sugar, which of course on itself is, it's not heavy masculine cologne, but it's got the masculine. I can't remember the notes right now of blue sugar, but it's all over the place. So you can just look that up. But this is really good manscaping. That's a nice one. Next is, this is one of mine. This is Grape Governor. Grape Governor, uh, Grape Soda, Grape Cream Sickles, and Cream Soda. And why I named this Grape Governor is because I, first of all, my, my husband loves grape, and I don't see grape used very much in wax. And I thought, you know, when I was, you know, submitting blends and all that stuff, I thought I'll just I'll do a grape one just, you know, to see if it gets noticed, and it did. And why I named it Grape Governor when I was growing up, my mom would, you know, in place of curse words, I mean, don't get me wrong, there were some of those around too, but for the most part, she would say, great governor, or goodness gracious, or uh, great gravy, or something like that. 
<laughs> can't remember all of them, but great governor sticks out of my head. So I thought, great governor, you know, I know. I'm a dork and I embrace it. So <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Gotta have fun in life. And next, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Ew, David. Ew, David from Schitt's Creek. I love David. David and Moira are my two favorite characters. And then John and Alexis is my, is my least favorite character. <laughs> but Moira is, she is perfect. I love Catherine O'Hara. Her and Eugene Levy are just perfect together. And David is incredible. So anyways, ew, David. Sea salt caramel, which is amazing. Bear claws, chocolate chip cookie dough, and espresso. Hey, Ashley doesn't like chocolate and wax, but I have chocolate chip cookie dough in here because I thought blended with the espresso, blended with the bear claw and this and the caramel, this would be great. And this is perfect. This is such, this is exactly what I thought it was. It kind of smells like a chocolate chip cookie, but if you've ever smelled her bear claws oil, it's really authentic bear claw. And I get a, a little bit, It's this is not really a coffee heavy scent. Yes, it's there, it has the coffee notes, but it's more bear claw, it's more caramel, it's more cookie dough than the coffee. But of course on warm, it might you know make an appearance. I hope it does because this is, oh, it's kind of like her um, Cafe Cubano, which I love too. And it's it's not just straight coffee, it's got something else in it. So this, this, you, David, is wonderful. Wonderful. Next was one of mine. This is Namaste. Namaste. Coconut bamboo beach glass. These three. I was thinking of fresh. I wanted fresh for this. And, oh, this smells so good. Bamboo. Um, I'm not sure if this bamboo is in fresh bamboo from Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure if it's the type or if it's just another type of, of oil, but bamboo is fresh. Bamboo is green. Bamboo is strong. It very is, very much is. Coconut, it's got a hint of coconut. It's not tropical coconut. It's not sweet coconut. It's just fresh coconut, and it's really good. Beach glass has that aquatic note to it. This is really, really good, too. Great job blending this gin. Thank you so much. This one is good for bathroom. It's good to freshen the air if you want something else other than bakery or coffee or earthy or fruity. This is for fresh, definitely. Okay, next, Pink Ladies. This was one of mine. Pink sugar, pink frosted cake, which I love pink frosted cake, and pink lemonade. Pink ladies, you gotta love Greece. You know, rest in peace, Olivia Newton-John. You know, she passed this week, but pink ladies, Rizzo was always my favorite. Pink lady, I love her. <laughs> when I was 16, my 16th birthday, I think it was the 25th or 20th or it was an anniversary, a worthy anniversary of Greece. And they had a limited edition VHS tape. I know VHS tape. And I swear I'm not making this up. I did not sleep in my bedroom for the whole entire summer. My birthday's in June. So it's right after school gets out. My cousin bought me the Greece, the anniversary tape. And I moved into the guest bedroom because there was a television in there. I didn't have a television in my room growing up. I wasn't allowed to have that. So in the summer, you know, since school's not in, I watched Greece in the morning when I got up and I watched Greece in the evening when I went to bed. And I know every line. I I probably drove my mother nuts by having Greece on twice a day for three months. <laughs> to this day now, I, I will watch it, but nowhere near nowhere near I've seen Grease enough for 15 lifetimes so, so I but it's such a brilliant movie it's so good another one like that is American Graffiti if you've never if you haven't seen American Graffiti give it a try too but sidebar I know this one is pink frosted cake heavy and it's got a little bit of pink sugar there too I'm not getting so much pink lemonade but you know lemon Lemon will come out on warm. So this one, if you like pink frosted cake, that one does not disappoint either. That does not disappoint either. Okay, this one, not mine, but this is incredible. This is Take a Hike. This is large loaf worthy. Pacific Woods, River Stone, and Palo Santo. So, so, so good. I love her River Woods, and I love 
not rubber woods, excuse me, her river stone. And I love her Pacific woods. This is so, it's fresh, it's green. It's got that, I definitely smell the river stone. If you haven't had her river stone, it's mineral, it has mineral-esque quality. It's clean, it's, it's just like a spa. It's relaxing. It reminds me of those, um, those, if you ever had a hot stone massage, the, the smooth, larger stones they use, you know, skipping those across a Creek. And if you've watched my videos, you know, that river stone reminds me of my, my dad's house and this, the Palo Santo is there slightly, but the river stone is the star here. Pacific woods is also here too. It's green, it's crisp, it's an excellent oil. This Take a Hike is a masterpiece as well. Excellent, whoever created this one, excellent job. This is really, really good. I love those. I would buy that in a large loaf. And finally, last one of mine, Peachy Clean. And um, I love fruit and laundry. This is cotton sheets, clothes pins, peach nectar, and raspberry whip. And I was going for just a, a peach laundry, which I love. I can't get enough peach laundry. And this one here, it's perfect. It is perfect. It's got clothes pins and flannel sheets. Excuse me, cotton sheets. Clothes pins and cotton sheets are some of her strongest uh, laundry oils, in my opinion, and also flannel sheets too, if you've never ever had flannel sheets. It's that quintessential laundry dryer sheet type of smell to me. And adding the peach and a little bit of the raspberry whip, the raspberry whip is a little perfumey to me, so I thought it would go well with the peach, and it does to my nose. It smells really, 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 really good. This is such a good one. I really like that one. So that was the pre-order and I can do a sample bag. I don't know which one went with what, but it doesn't really matter here. Let's do a sample bag. Okay. First one, white grapefruit turmeric. Let's see. Yes, definitely grapefruit heavy. If you love grapefruit, you would really like this. Grapefruit is, I don't know if I'm really crazy about grapefruit and wax because it can kind of get a little B.O.E. to me, to me, but um, I'm going to try this out because I've only had it a few times, another vendor, and I wasn't crazy about it. But next one, Dewey Dahlia. Now, somebody asked about this in the Facebook group, and Jen had said that this is one of her favorite oils, and she's going to buy more before it's completely discontinued because it is being discontinued. This is floral, yes, but it's not in-your-face, headache-inducing, knock-you-down, old-lady floral. It's not like that. It's not floral perfumey. It's it's creamy almost. It's creamy. It's it's a little it's a little floral. It has to be dahlia as a flower, of course. And it's got a ton of different notes in it, and I don't know anywhere near <laughs> all the ones that are in there. But this is definitely a pretty light creamy floral. That's how I'm gonna explain that one. Next is Sweet Lady. I don't know what this is, but I'll try. I don't know what that is, so I I'm not really good at blindly smelling something and identifying all the notes in it. I, I'm That's not my forte. I do better if I see the notes and tell you which ones I smell out of it. That's just how I work, I guess. So, okay, let's get going on the ridded ships. Okay, I got, now these are, this is all from one order, I, I suppose. No, I got, no, wait a minute. I got two more from the pre-order, two puppy packs. I got coconut basmati rice, which I had to try because, you know, I love coconut and basmati rice is amazing too. It's, it's, it's kind of food, food like, but if you ever smelled basmati rice, um, it's, it has a distinct fragrance to it, just like jasmine rice does. Basmati, which I cook with basmati a lot. It doesn't have as much of a, it doesn't spike your glycemic index as high, and there isn't a lot of um, uh, starchiness that's released when the rice grains are cooked. It's what's used in Indian cooking. The rice doesn't stick together. 
quite like jasmine and white rice does. And I, I love the fragrance, though, of basmati. So this is basmati rice. I can smell it just like I have my nose in the bag. And it's got a little bit of Thai coconut. And that's the other one I got, Thai coconut. I think this is one oil, though, but Thai coconut is almost lemongrass-like to my nose. This this Thai coconut almost smells like exotic coconut from Bath & Body Works, which I'm not complaining about because I really like it. It's not as tropical to me as exotic coconut, but it is definitely a coconut. It's going to be a strong one. I know it is. This is a good one, though. I like that. I'm glad I grabbed that one. And the basmati rice, this coconut is just... It almost smells like a coconut basmati um, cilantro rice, you know, maybe from Chipotle or something. It's got a, it's got that fragrance to it, and this, this is really good. I'm anxious to warm that one. I might warm that up here pretty soon. Okay, let's go to the ready to ship stuff. Halloween, Halloween time, spooky season's coming, fall's coming, and all of these blends here are fall themed. All of them are. So, except for except for one trig tart that I got, and I guess I'm I'm I guess that's not true. The <laughs> Green Ranger is not Halloween. Um, toasted pistachio and waffle cones. I grabbed this because I haven't had pistachio from L3 in quite some time, so I decided to grab this. And this one is a creamy almond nutty pistachio it's it doesn't have any cherry in it and it's not as pistachio heavy as some other vendors out there or even pistachio pudding cake it's not as heavy as that this i like that the waffle cone really is dominant in this i really like that waffle cone i love waffle cone it's such a good oil this is really good too i think that's sold out too by the way okay I got, some of these I got two of, but I'll just show you because of the shapes. Silent Hill. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Silent Hill. There's a ghost. He's in the bag here. His little face is on this side, of course, but it's a ghost and pumpkin. These notes. Pumpkin firewood, farm stand apple, salted caramels. This is really good. I have not had this. I This year, um, last year was my first fall and first Halloween with any vendor because I started Vendor Wax in January of 21. So I decided to, this time around, I've, I've, had, a, I've had a lot of her Halloween scents, you know, from then until now but i'm trying to buy ones i haven't tried before so i think last year she did a she did chunks she had chunks that she offered and halloween scents and fall scents and i did get a good bit of those and i have melted through a good bit of those but there are just some that i wasn't able to get last year that i wanted to try this year so this one that caramel oh that caramel is good i love caramel apple i love sea salt caramel i'm in a caramel kick right now and i'm getting a little bit of the pumpkin firewood it's got a very 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 slight smokiness to it but this is definitely caramel caramel apple heavy and hopefully the firewood will come out a little bit more on warm but that's silent hill like i said i got two of these a couple of these because i'm not sure what the size looks like and that stuff so Next is Season of the Witch, Toasted Marshmallow, Here's Jenny. This is a big old pumpkin. I love the color. This is our highly sought after Apples and Leaves blend, which is Season of the Witch. I've had that before, it's glorious. And then Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pretzel and Bakery Bomb. That's Here's Jenny. I've had Here's Jenny before too. This is fantastic. This is a good one. Yes, it's the leaves and apples. Now, I know leaves, not everybody likes leaves. Leaves, Bath and Body Works type. Leaves is heavy. Leaves is strong. Leaves can kind of smell outside-like. And I know that some people, but, but I mean, leaves has been around for a long, long, long time. It's one of their staple fall scents. 
mix with apple it plays very well because I think there is a little bit of apple in leaves I don't remember the notes and leaves it's been a while since I've actually looked at the notes and leaves um, I love it I always have mixing apple with it is pretty genius just because it plays so well with those fall notes that's in leaves so then you have your here's Jenny which is your pumpkin pecan waffles which goes well with this it really does um, leaves is not bakery but the pumpkin pecan waffles has enough of the maple in it enough of the pecan and then you have your pretzel to give a little bit more bakery to blend and balance with that um, non bakery that's your apple and your leaves so I think this is great it's the best of both worlds you have you have your apple and you have your you have your pretzel and your pumpkin pecan waffle leaves is kind of in the in the background here apple is much heavier than leaves here I like that one that's a good one next I got two of this scent pumpkin chunkin this is pumpkin pecan waffles roasted coffee and rice krispie treats I got a bat and a skull head so this one this is such a good one I love pumpkin pecan waffles and coffee Oh, it's so good. That oh, just makes me happy whenever I smell pumpkin pecan waffles and espresso. It's just incredible to me. Oh, so good. And you get that little bit of Rice Krispie Treats, which is basically just marshmallow to me. But this is a beautiful blend. It reminds me a lot of PPW, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Espresso, which was in scoops yesterday. I might have grabbed one. I don't remember. <laughs> but um, this is great pumpkin chunkin that's a repurchase i don't even have to ask twice or think twice about that next i got two little jacks i think these are called junior jacks of grand high witch this is salty sea air granny smith apples and ooey gooey caramel you know i was all over this when i saw caramel apple so yep that works that works salty sea air also goes very well with bakery it also goes very well with fruit it's very versatile too it's kind of like palo santo in that you can mix it with just about anything and it works somehow so this one is salty i mean i think it's pretty much equal amounts of salty sea air and then you have your caramel apple and it's not mac apple it's granny smith which is a little bit tart more tart the mac apples are just a hair sweeter to my nose and this one oh that is nice it's it's fresh it's a fresh apple scent i haven't smelled anything like that before okay i got a four pack of the skulls these are i love the colors there in machete this is flapjacks blueberry pumpkin patch and pecan waffles what's not to love about this one it's one oh so 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 good let me take one out here to show you just the the color here I have him up is it a skull head I think it's is it a skull I think it is anyways look at the the prettiness of that I love that uh, it's so pretty I love it the scent is that blueberry pumpkin patch which is a really really good blueberry oil it's got a little bit of a little bit of pumpkin spice in it not too much just the perfect amount to accent with the blueberry the flapjacks is there not it's not heavy maple it's not heavy pancake you have your pumpkin pecan waffles there to balance that out but this is definitely a blueberry a blueberry nice bakery scent I would buy this in a loaf that is a great scent great 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 scent okay next I got a pack of fluted tarts pumpkin pecan waffles and white elephant exchange this is pretty basic but I love pumpkin pecan waffles I think my last haul video was basically all pumpkin pecan waffles and so happy this is pumpkin pecan waffles and white elephant exchange and it's pretty equal amounts of it this one is a good one I think this was offered yesterday as well okay down to the final stretch here I'm just adjusting I got two trig tarts of pumpkin pecan waffles which I don't really have to I mean I'll smell it just because it's one of my favorite smells but it's um 
it's that pumpkin creaminess. It's the waffle. It's a little bit of maple syrup and it's pecans. I mean, I think most people have smelled that if you're into bakery and if you're into that type of stuff. And then finally, I grabbed several pretzel trig tarts. I got three. And this was last time. The reason why I got three is I never usually buy three of anything unless I really, really love it. I like pretzel blended with things. So why I bought this many is because I want to experiment this fall and mix pretzel with a lot of different things. I want to mix it with different fruits. I want to mix it with different um, bakery. And I want to mix it with a little bit of... Um, uh, um, Oh, I'm, it's escaping me. What did I want to, what did I want to try? I want to, I, I'm, I'm trying to experiment. So <laughs> that's why I bought this many. So I know that pretzel is very, very coveted and hopefully Jen will pour it regularly since so many of us love it. This is a, this is a good pretzel. Now I'm picky with my pretzel. There are some vendors out there whose pretzel oil is just a little bit too much for me. It's a little bit too salty and yeasty. It's got to have a good balance. And to me, this is the best balance that I've smelled because it has just enough yeast and just enough salt. It's the perfect amount. And when she uses her pretzel in like, for example, here's Jenny. It is the pumpkin pecan waffles pretzel and bakery bomb. The bakery, the, the pretzel really comes out in here's Jenny. So I know this is a really good pretzel oil. That's why I grabbed that many so I could pretty much have pretzel covered this fall. Okay, I got my scoopula in purple. This is a beautiful purple. It's like Barney purple, <laughs> but I love it. I love purple. Um, pink is my favorite color, if you couldn't tell. I love pink. And I thought one more time before the end of summer, do hot pink nails, but I love it. Um, purple is a, nice, is a nice summer color too. This is my last sample bag. Freak Show. Oh, this is a really good one. This is her circus concessions and cotton candy, I think. This, I think, I think it's cotton candy extreme and circus concessions. I'm pretty sure it's what this is. I've had it before. It's wonderful. It's just like, it's the funnel cake. It's the, the caramel apple, the cotton candy, and it's good. I really like that one. Next. We have, oh, it's a little crab. That's so cute. Blue Hawaiian Pina Colada Cherry Blow Pops. This will be a nice tropical one. Yep, very cherry heavy. Cherry Blow Pop, definitely. I don't know the notes of Blue Hawaiian, but this is a nice one. It's got the coconut and the pineapple in there from the Pina Colada to balance out that cherry nicely. I'm going to put these samples down in this bag because... These are poppy sized, so she will push it under something and I will never find it again. Finally, Juicy Fruit Fizzy Pop. Now, Juicy Fruit, let's see. Yep, that kind of smells like the Juicy Fruit Gum. I don't like Juicy Fruit Gum. It's a little, it's, it lasts about two seconds, first of all, before it, before the flavor goes away. And second, it's just, I, I don't, I, it's just not for me. But mixed with Frizzy Pop, it's nice. It's a nice fruity fizzy. That's basically what this is. So that is, and I haven't, other than Freak Show, I haven't had any of these samples before, which I really, really love samples. Um, the stickers here is purpose of life is to be happy unknown and the only failure is not to try George Clooney. Those are my stickers for this one. Okay, so I'm going to do quickly um, the try me sampler. These, this was, Jen had, I think, I think there's some on the site right now. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked at this section because I'm not interested in buying another try me. Um, I purchased one of these samplers back at around Christmas time in December. And I have said so many times that it is some of the best money I've spent because it gave me a chance to try 50 different samples and some of the blends I had had before because it, at that time in December, um, some of the samples were some of the blends that were in her Christmas advent calendar, which I loved. It's I'm going to buy another one this year, I think. It was really, really, really good. 
but it also it gives me a chance to try different blends that I don't know about or I know about and I don't want to commit to a larger size because I'm just not sure on and I really like that she put them on sale it went down to twenty dollars plus your nine dollars and thirty cents shipping that's a steal so I'm just going to show you basically the scents that are in here and maybe maybe quickly talk about the ones that aren't so obvious like this one is strawberry pound cake sugar cookie dough and vanilla ice cream there's so many here I'm not going to go into detail on each one of these because this video will be an hour long and I don't want to do that so um, just give you example of ones that might come in your sample pack to you know maybe see if you would like to buy one in the future and have lots of fun too so we have that one I'm gonna put them back down in this envelope Next one is strawberry sugar cherry almond. Now this one I'm going to smell because I know cherry is uh, so sensitive with a lot of people because it can take that medicinal cough syrupy profile on. But this one is in a little mason jar. This is actually it's not a mason jar. I thought it was. It's a bulb. <laughs> this one I'm getting. I'm not quite sure. It's sweet, definitely sweet, and a little bit of cherry almond. It's not Jergens. It's it doesn't smell like Jergens to me. I mean, that's the cherry almond. But this one is it's Jer Jerry's still out on that. So <laughs> I don't hate it, but I can't describe it. Beach Nights Copper Tone. Copper Tone takes over just about everything it's in if you like that strong sunscreen smell. Yep, this is basically just copper tone to me. The beach nights kind of get lost, but maybe on warm that will come out. Next is mint Oreo pie. I've had this before. This is this was when she did her pie day, you know, back in March. And this is basically a little bit of, it's a little grasshopper. It's a little bit mint and it's got the Oreo to it too. Next, lilac rock candy. I don't know what this one is. That one kind of reminds me of sugared violets, but it's got sweet candy to it. And it's not too floral, but sometimes lilac and violet can go very well with, with floral and bakery, actually, that I found out. Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds Lavender Buttercream. Yep, the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is pretty strong, and I find that it takes over most of the blends that it's in, but this balances well with the lavender. That is a good one. Next is Cherry Amaretto Orange Coffee Cake. Oh boy, this is me. That is good, good, good. Amaretto, extremely strong oil. It takes over everything it's in, even if you blend it with coffee, I think. Um, this is a little bit of cherry, a hint of orange, but it's mostly citrus. And then a little bit of bakery, but you have the amaretto. If you love amaretto, you would really like that one. Strawberry Lemonade Sugar Cookie Royale. We have a little two-pack here of the little, I think these are little trolley cars, I think. Yep, that's Strawberry Lemonade, just about. Bazinga. I think this is Lori's blend, actually. It's fruity. Definitely fruity. It's got citrus in it too. I'm not quite sure all the notes in there. I think there's several, but that's a good one. I'm glad I have that as a sample. I can't wait to warm that. Sugar Cookie Royale. Everybody knows that one. Sugar Cookie Honey Peanut Butter. Let's see. Very honey. I smell the honey. It's, excuse me, it's honey peanut butter, basically. It smells very good. A little bit of sugar cookie, but mostly honey peanut butter. That one smells really, really good. Some of these little bags don't seal all the way sometimes. So I'm going to put this and use that one this week because the, the seal won't work on it. Boom Boom Shea and Santal. This one. Boom Boom Cream with something special. I don't know what Shea and, and Santel, what it's supposed to smell like, but it, this is pretty. It's very perfumey, very, but it's got boom boom. And I think 
it's it's very pretty perfume that's what it smells like to me baker's gonna bake i think this is one of the house blends that jen has that doesn't smell like anything right now to me k-dye melts i think this is peppermint buttermint and i can't remember the last thing that's in here i haven't had it by itself though yep definitely peppermint and buttermint definitely and i will say that these um these are all different um scents that i've that i have in this pack versus the one from december so even if you even if you buy them you know several times throughout the year they probably are going to be different scents because jen has a hundred thousand cents that <laughs> she rotates around um, cherry lemonade peeps this one's probably pretty much cherry lemonade yep 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 peeps doesn't smell like anything to me because it's just so light it it um i've had it in a few things and i'm just not a fan because it doesn't smell like much strawberry pound cake zucchini bread that's an excellent one i know it is um lavender cream peppermint i want to smell this one and see that's nice that's a nice bedtime scent it's got creaminess to it but you can smell the peppermint and you can smell the herbal lavender i like that strawberry banana smoothie i don't think i've smelled this one yet that's nice that is nice strawberry banana just like the yogurt okay egyptian cotton sheets this one having a hard time describing that one but it's not heavy laundry the egyptian whatever the egyptian part of it is is not like downy it's not dryer sheets it's a little bit different it's fresh and it does have a slight laundry to it but it's a little bit more different spice oat milk cafe cubano this was one of my customs that's so good. I love it. I love it. That spiced oat milk just puts something extra into the coffee. I love this one. I'm so happy I have a little piece of that now. Um, because my sample, not my sample, my custom is downstairs in the basement because I moved a lot of wax. I'm trying to work through my tub of wax that's up here in my wax room. And then when I'm done with it, I'll refill from the basement. So that's where it is. Blue sugar ice cream scoop bread. I'm not quite sure what ice cream scoop bread is supposed to smell like, but that is blue sugar dominant. Definitely. Cake batter, cotton candy frosting, beach nights. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Summer scoops, strawberry pound cake, don't cross streams. That is strawberry ice cream, strawberry pound cake, and then it's one of her vanilla bakery ones that is such a good blender that one basically smells like summer scoops exotic coconut copper tone i've had this before i love it so good the copper tone and the, okay exotic coconut is such a strong oil too it's my favorite scent from bath and body works that they won't bring back from the vault but blend it with copper tone it's that perfect it's summer it's coconut it's sunscreen it's summer it's really good Beach Sage Mint Bergamot Waters. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I really like this one. I'm not sure. It's definitely have, it has mint in it. It has a little bit of bergamot. But, oh, I would definitely buy this. I would buy that. That is, that is a nice, refreshing, herbal, bathroom, spa, really nice relaxing scent okia i don't know if i'm saying that right okaya okaya i don't know what this smells like i've smelled something like this before but i don't know i'm not good with blind scents buttermint that's self-explanatory winter glow Hmm. That kind of, it's kind of a little earthy. It's earthy. I wonder if there's cashmere in it too. 
it's not bakery it's not fruity pineapple coconut mango boom boom that's tropical summer cinnamon rolls that's pretty much self-explanatory too green clover aloe rainstorm spring breeze oh boy green clover and aloe is good too very herbal very green very floral i get floral from this but it's a nice spring scent a nice you know after things been have been dead all winter it's a very nice spring fresh scent cream soda strawberry soda white clouds pink sands that's a different combination A little pink sands and a little strawberry banana pudding banana cream pie nilla wafer I've had this before I think and it's good oh that is good I would buy this in a larger size I, I I melted this last year so it's been a while but it's creamy it's got the vanilla wafers there it's really that's a good one blueberry cobbler lemon sugar tangerine dreams lots of fruit happening I don't know if I like those together, though. Tangerine and lemon, I'm not a fan of that one. Cake batter, vanilla butter fudge, vanilla cream. Can't go wrong with this one. This is, this is, that's just vanilla cake times a thousand. Emerald City. I think this one is Granny Smith apple and pretzel and something, I think. Yep. Apple and pretzel, basically. That smells good. Boardwalk taffy, boardwalk marshmallow clouds. That one's pretty self-explanatory. White clouds, honeydew, creamsicle. This one. Ooh. I wonder if white clouds is floral because I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little floral from this. Not so much melon. And a little bit of creaminess from the creamsicle. I wonder what's in white clouds. If anybody knows, tell me. I There's too many in here to look at all of these notes up. Uh, Diet Starts Monday. That's one of her house blends. That's a nice one on its own. Vanilla Bakery, basically. Today is October 3rd. Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, Toasted Marshmallow. Beach Daisies, Driftwood. Heavy Floral with the de Beach Daisies, but the Driftwood has that wood, aquatic, salty wood scent to it. Ooh, this is a big guy. <laughs> it's a tart. This is um, Dolce de Leche Ice Cream Pie. This one. That's basically what it says. Dolce de Leche ice cream that's basically it smells like caramel base basically to me like caramel orange marmalade orange chiffon cake amaretto that's a pretty that's a nice amaretto blend that is a really nice one so good it's got it's not as heavy on the amaretto but it really has the orange chiffon cake which i love i love that oil and the creaminess of that and the cake from that and the amaretto are very good together basic witch i think this was one of the winners from last year i remember this blend pumpkin pumpkin spice and other things <laughs> Uh, Claire, I don't know what Claire is, but let's just see if I can give you what family it's in. Floral, it smells floral to me. Lavender, vanilla, pink, sugar, pepper. That's an interesting combination. But it works. I don't know how, but it works. Lavender, vanilla, pink, sugar, and pepper. That's a nice one. Sunwashed Lemon Strawberry Sugar. Ooh. This is glorious. If you like sweet laundry, 
give this a try. Man, I'm going to request that. That is a nice one. Three more here. Then we're done. Cotton Candy Blue Hawaiian. Pretty much cotton candy with blue Hawaiian, which is a little bit coconut to me. I don't know if coconut's in there or not. Green apple, cinnamon sugar, buttermilk pie. And finally, green apple. But, okay, so that just shows you what's possibly in the Try Me sampler pack, which there's a lot in here. That's a lot of melting. I like to melt samples. Um, I have my Accord in my office right now. Typically, I melt samples in the office just so I can smell it. But I put it in my bathroom also because it's a small space. So thanks for watching this really long L3 video. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and see you soon.